Hello everyone. In this short video, we are going to walk through doing linear interpolation in MathCAD Prime. We're actually going to look at two problems. The first problem is going to involve force, distance, torque, and we're going to interpolate between force and torque. The second problem is much more interesting and it will do interpolation on data that represents uh, Bon Jovi record sales. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we have two data vectors, one for force, one for distance, and we are going to calculate torque. So we can just type force times distance. And when we're multiplying two vectors by one another, we actually have to vectorize the operation. And so here on the vector matrix operators under the matrices and tables tab, we have the vectorization operator at the bottom. Let's apply that and uh, let's assign that calculated result to a variable called tau. So this vectorization operator tells MathCAD to do an element by element calculation for all of the entries in the vector. And then if we type tau equals, we get the results. Okay, we're gonna convert the units to pound force times inches. So now we have a force vector and we have a torque vector. And we are going to build an interpolation model that will allow us to interpolate values of torque for any given input of force, okay, between 200 and 486. In MathCAD, we have a built-in function that helps us do this. So we're gonna go to the functions. I'm gonna show you where the function is. So here on the all functions, uh, here on the left-hand side, there is a category for uh, interpolation and prediction. And so the function we're going to use is this one. It's uh, L-I-N-T-E-R-P for linear interpolation. So we don't need this here. Let's go ahead and type L-I-N-T-E-R-P, linterp, and it has three inputs. So we're going to open the parentheses and give it the inputs in a comma-separated list. So the first input is going to be our x data. So our x data is force. Okay. The second input is going to be the y data. Our y data is our torque values. So we need a comma and then tau for torque because we're going to interpolate values of torque for any given input of force, okay? Uh, and then our third input here is going to be an independent variable x, okay? And that is going to re represent the value of force at which we want to do the interpolation. So we now we're building the model. And so we're gonna assign that to a function Okay, so we need to give the function a name so we can just call it torque and that is going to be a function of our independent variable x. Now we're all done. So now we can say, okay, let's calculate or let's interpolate torque for a given input of force. And so looking at our force vector, we can just pick a value between these first two elements uh, entries 200 and 250. So let's just go exactly at the midpoint 225 and we'll use units there, of course. And now if we type equals, we're going to get the interpolated torque value. And so we want to convert those units to pound force times inches. And we know we can expect our interpolation to land halfway between the first two entries on the torque vector. So if we go down here to the torque vector, exactly halfway between these two entries is 1500. And so it looks like our, our interpolated torque is right on, right on point there. Okay, so let's do one more interpolation. So let's calculate the torque or interpolate the torque. We can go to the bottom here and go to 485. So just about at the very end, and let's just put 99 on there for fun, and then type pound force and then do the interpolation. And we should expect to be right at the end of our torque. Um, and sure enough, we are, okay? Now, remember, we have to, in order to use this value, we have to assign it to a variable, okay? It's not assigned to a variable right now. We're just displaying the result of a function call. We have to assign it to a variable if we want to use it. So we'll just go ahead and assign it to a variable and we'll call it tau and then a subscript. And then we can just say in this particular case, 485 
uh, 0.99, okay? And so that's our variable. And here we'll scroll down just to give ourselves a little bit more space. We can copy that, we can paste it, and then we can display it on its own, okay? And then we can use it in any calculation. So that is how we do linear interpolation in MathCAD. So now, moving on, uh, let's do the same thing. I'm going to go to the next page here for Bon Jovi record sales. You'll find out that I am a big fan of Bon Jovi, and so uh, we are going to see some applications <laughs> for Bon Jovi here and there along the way. So we have the years in this X data vector, and then we have the albums sold in any given year. Well, not in any given year. This is a running sum. Okay, so in 1984, we have 3.5 million albums sold. In 1985, we're up to 6.5 million albums sold. And by the time we get down to 2016, we're at 119 million. So our interpolation function is going to interpolate the number of albums sold at any given point in time between 1984 and 2016. So now we know how to do this. So linterp, our input uh, for X is gonna be the year, our input for Y is gonna be the number of albums, and then we have an independent variable X. We're going to assign it to a function, so we can say albums sold, and that's gonna be a function of the independent variable X, that represents the year at which we want to do the interpolation. Now, let's just evaluate our function. And for X, let's find out how many albums were sold, let's see, uh, halfway between 1984 and 1985. So I will type 1984.5, and that'll tell us how many albums were sold halfway between 1984 and 1985, if we look to the right, we would expect to be halfway between 3.5 million and 6.5 million. And so sure enough, we're at 5 million albums sold there. Okay, and then remember, assign your result to a variable, albums sold, subscript, 1984.5. And so then we'll take that and we'll just display it on its own so that it's nice and clean. Okay, that is it. Now you know how to do linear interpolation. I will say please don't, uh, please, please be kindly reminded that the number of albums, this album data here, this is data that I took from Wikipedia and um, I cannot guarantee its accuracy, but I did take it from Wikipedia and the source you can see is here. All right. Thank you for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.